Hey there, in this video, I'll show you how to make text shake in Final Cut Pro. It's easy. I'll show you seven different ways and a real world example to shake things up. I'm going to share with you five effects built into Final Cut Pro that will make your text shake. And then I'm gonna show you how to make your own custom shakes. And at the end, I'll show you a real world example on how to use this shake effect. One of the quickest ways to make your text shake is to use a built-in effect in Final Cut Pro. Select your text, title, and then go to the effects browser over here. Go down to the section that says distortion and find earthquake. Drag and drop that on top of your text. Let's watch it back. All right, you can see it's moving, shaking, getting rattled. Let's take a look at some of the parameters we can change and customize it. Click on the video inspector at the top and you'll see this section called effects and underneath it, earthquake. We have a few different options here. The first one I wanna play with is the epicenter. Where is it shaking from? If we watch this video back again, you can see it's kind of shaking from over here. It's not shaking from the middle. It's kind of off to the side, um, to the right side and to the up. And you can tell also because of this little on-screen control, this ring divided into four pieces. So you can control that on screen by clicking and dragging it. Whoops, the uh, text box got in the way. That's okay, we need to move that. Now I can control this. So I can just drag it around and I can put the epicenter wherever I want and get different looking results. Let's try putting it right in the center. I'm gonna move it right there and then I'm gonna move my text up and over as well. Okay, now it's in the center. That's looking a little better. I can also increase the amount, how much it shakes. Let's crank this up and see what it looks like. Oh yeah, that's like a 6.0 magnitude. We can also change layers. See how it's shaking and um, there you see different layers of the letters? That's what this is. So we can turn this down if we want and you can see we get less layers. If we go down to one, it's just the original text and this is what it looks like. Still shakes around. What the layers do is give it a kind of a motion blur effect like you would see if it was filmed with a camera. Let's try increasing the layers. Oh, that's getting real crazy. There's another effect called underwater that will give you that kind of shaking, moving look. Let's delete earthquake first. And in the same section of distortion, you'll see one called underwater. Drag and drop that on. And here's what it looks like by default. This is kind of cool. It's fitting with this, right? It makes it look like it's underwater. But we want it to look more like it's shaking instead. To give it more of that kind of shake feel, take the size and increase it. I'm going to try it at 40. Let's take a look now. It doesn't look like it's underwater as much, but it still kind of moves around like water, and I want more of a shake feel to it. So I'm going to turn refraction down. Let's see what that looks like. There we go. We get less of the bendy of the text and making it look like water, but we still get kind of this floaty, shaking, moving around look. And then I just want to speed that up a little bit. I'm going to go up to 40 on that as well. All right, so that's a little bit faster. Looks like it's shaking around. You can use mix to change how much the original text is seen versus the affected text. That gives it kind of a cool effect, huh? The next effect is called wave. It's in the same category down here at the bottom. Do the same thing, drag and drop it onto your text. And let's take a look at, see what that looks like. 
All right, so the text is bent and it's not doing anything. It's just kind of, it's, it's, been, it's been changed to look like a wave. If we go to the video inspector and up on the wave section here, the wave effect, we see we've got two different controls here. We've got amount and offset. Amount is how much the waves are in it. See, as I increase it, it gets more and more wavy. And then the less I do, the more regular it is. And then offset, it gives it that kind of wavy look as if the water is running through it. It gives it that wavy look. So you might wanna shake your text like this. Select your text, go to the beginning of the title and press, by offset, press this plus button to add a keyframe. Go to the end of the clip and then press the left arrow once to go to the last frame of the title and change this offset. Let's take it all the way up to 500 and see how that looks. It looks like the text getting shaken in one of those etch-a-sketch things and it's getting dissolved away. You can change the timing of the keyframes by selecting the title and pressing Control V. And at the top where it says wave amount, change it to wave offset. And you'll see at the beginning a keyframe here and at the end. So if you want the if you want it to be faster, you can drag your keyframes closer together. Now it goes crazy. But once you pass this keyframe, it's going to stop at that value. Take a look at this. I'm going to play this again, and I want you to look up here. Watch the offset slider. It's going to increase as we play. So it's starting at zero, and look at it going up all the way to 500. That's what the keyframe is doing. It's just animating between one point and another. Pause game. I just noticed you haven't subscribed yet go ahead and click that beautiful red subscribe button. Thanks. The next effect we want to look at is called handheld. That's under the stylized section of your effects right here. So once again, drag and drop it onto your title. And let's see what it does right now. You can see it kind of moving and floating around. It's trying to simulate somebody holding a camera, a handheld camera, and the movement you might get with that. Let's see what we can do to change it up a little bit and make it look more like it's shaking. Select the clip, select your text title clip, and go up to the video inspect and look under effects, handheld. So we can change the shakiness amount and the distance. Let's crank that up to about a 50 and take a look at it. All right, so that's starting to shake around a little more. I want it even higher. Let's go around 75 and let's change the distance. How much does it move around? Let's take a look. There we go. Now it's really shaken. I think that's a little too much. Let's pull it down to about 60. There we go. Some good looking shaken text. Last but not least is the projector effect. It's in the same category, stylize, and it's called projector. Drag and drop that onto your title. Now this one's a little bit different. It not only changes like the position and movement of it, but it also adds some filters that tweaks and changes the color a little bit. So keep that in mind when you add this one. Let's take a look at it. It's kind of flickering and shaking a little bit. Let's see what we can do to change that. Select the clip, go up to Video Inspector, and look for the projector effect under the effects section. Really, we've only got one option, amount. We can turn it down. So that gets us back to the original color. We still have some of the movement and some of the flicker. Or we can really crank it up, and let's see what happens there. Oh yeah, bouncing around big time. This is uh, sitting at the back of a pickup truck going down the hole in the rock road in Escalante, Utah, kind of bumping. If you want to get a custom kind of shake or movement, the first thing is to select your title, clip, and then go to the video inspector. 
Underneath here you'll see transform and you'll see transform position. So let's go back to the beginning of our clip, make sure it's selected, and we want to add a keyframe by pushing the plus button here. Let's go forward a few frames and make a change to the values here, X and Y. I'm just doing a little bit, not a ton. And then I'm gonna go forward again. I'm pressing shift right arrow to go forward a few frames and I'm going to change it again. Shift forward. Let's take a look and see how that shakes. Looks pretty good. It moves around a little bit, looks like it's shaking. Now, of course, if you want it to shake the whole time, you'll need to continue adding keyframes all the way through to the end of the title. Maybe you want to change that though. You like where it's moving, but you want it to move faster. We can adjust the keyframe position. Select the title, press Control V, and you'll see right here we've got all our keyframes. So if we want it to happen a little faster, we can take these and move them all forward and closer together in time. All right, let's take a look and see how that goes. A lot faster. So you can see this way is good for getting a custom movement, but it's also kind of tedious. You don't have to use just one effect at a time. You can stack them and use that to really create a cool shake effect. Let's try that out. First, I want to start with handheld. I'll drag and drop that onto my title. Go back to distortion, and I want to add underwater as well. Let's take a look and see what that looks like. Just looks like it's in the water, right? So go back to our effects in the video inspector. You can change the order that the effect happens. So right now underwater is first and then handheld is on top of it. I want handheld to happen first. I don't think it's going to change much of the look, but let's see. Yeah, not yet. Let's tweak underwater. Let's go up pretty big here. And speed, let's move that up. And now let's pull refraction down. Now for handheld, I want it to move around a lot more and I'm going to increase the shakiness. That looks pretty good, but I want some of that kind of bendy text in there for this. So I'm going to turn refraction back up a little, and I'm going to pull size down a little bit. There we go, that's pretty good. As you can see, you can get all sorts of different effects by layering and stacking them to shake your text. There you go, several different ways to shake it up. Now that you know how to make text shake, I want to show you some other cool ways to animate text. I made another video called How to Make Animated Text in Final Cut Pro. Go ahead, click here, check it out.